Okay, so basically this is a Peugeot Speedfight 100cc produced in 1997, first registered in 1999, so it's currently about 20, 20, dead 20 years old. Um, it's not been touched since 2008 when it was last ran. It's now 2017. So yeah, um, and I've just got it back from wherever it was, doesn't matter. Uh, take the tank off, fairings, whatnot, to get out to the engine, because I'm going to strip out all the oil, all the fuel, whatnot. The fuel, there was some fuel in the tank. Um, really important, there was some fuel in the tank. Ouch. Um, but it smelled a bit iffy. Not, I wouldn't say gone off, but probably not quite as fresh as, like, what I just bought two days ago or something. Um... But yeah, this is just a first look at the carb, and I literally just took it apart. I can't believe how clean it is. So the jets aren't too bad. They're not too bad. The flow is really good colour. It's not it's not bleach or anything, which is cool. But the float bowl, I've not cleaned this. And I, can't, I honestly can't believe how clean that is after eight years of having fuel sitting in it. I thought that it would have all evaporated and just left crud. But I think when they stopped riding it, it was about half a tank or a full tank left and there was only like a dribble now so a lot of it evaporated I think but none of it left gunk I, there's, there's not even anything there for me to really clean that's that that's what like nine eight year nine eight nine years of crap and there's not even much normally you'd see like loads of yellow yellowy um, creamy powder but there's nothing there which is awesome that's cool it just means I've got to do less work um quick break down the carb Main jet, pilot jet, pilot jet, or idle, idle, whichever you want to call them. Um, that's the kind of thing. Auto truck, I can't seem to get that off, annoyingly. Um, that is, I'm not sure what that is. That looks like fuel in. Yeah, that's fuel in. And that's oil in. That's oil in. Now, when I tried to start it, um, I was getting a message on the dashboard saying there was no oil going into the engine. Um, or there wasn't enough engine, whether it was. It, said, like, it, was, it was this light here. On there, saying there's not enough, there's not enough oil, but it was full. So I thought I'd investigate that um, as while well, I'm obviously stripping it down and uh, cleaning it out. If I kick it, uh, it's really stiff because the engine's not been oiled at all or had any fuel burn in it for ages. So yeah, that's that, that's cool. Um, so yeah, I'm going to continue to break this down. Uh, if I find anything interesting, I'll post it online. But otherwise, uh, I'll, show, I'll post a final video of it. Um, running yeah that'd be cool um one last thing so this is called a float it floats on top of the petrol naturally uh in there it's called a float needle um yeah that is for setting the idle speed that's the fuel air mix uh, what else this is an original carb i think it's not a chinese um crap crappy one um yeah, auto choke, I would have said that one. Um, it goes straight into the engine head, which is right here. I can see the engine fins. I, just, I need to work out how to take off this plastic fairing first. Or fan, whatever. Um, once I work that out, then I'll yeah, clean it out and uh, see what's inside there. But it goes straight from the carb straight into the engine head. And then from the carb, it goes into the exhaust, not exhaust, uh, um, air intake here. And then you have two pipes going into the carb from the fuel tank. Oh, sorry, from the fuel, from the vacuum fuel filter. So one of these. So this goes into the tank and then a hose clamp clamps onto it. So this one is for the vacuum, that's it, that's for the vacuum, which essentially it pulls fuel through, so it like sucks it. That's, that's where you'd suck on this to prime it. So it goes straight into the air intake, the air, the air manifold. Um, whereas the bottom one is the fuel in, so that will go from the tank through this, and then the fuel one will go straight into the carb. So the fuel one, so that one there, will go into the carb there, and then this one will go into the um, fuel tank and the vacuum fuel tap here. So air here, fuel here. So straight into the carb, straight into the manifold. So yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, oh, it's just had a new shock. So the last time it, 2007, it 
failed its MOT, so they got a new shock in 2007, like day two, whatever. So they got a new shock, so that's brand new. The front one may need to be replaced pretty soon, I think. So if the real one failed, then the front one's going to fail soon. Um, so once I've got the engine running, then I have to do things like hydraulics. So completely replace all the fluids. So the front brake is just non-functional. There's just so much air in it. Like, you can be f pulling the brake full and still be rolling really, really easily. Back one's okay. Um, but it definitely could do with a bleed. And definitely a clean up. Um, oil the cylinder head as well, because I can feel it's really, really kind of gritty. Yeah, it's just, it's not great. So yeah, if I find anything more interesting, uh, I'll post it, but otherwise, peace.